Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to expose the uh, an Arduino LCD infrared RPM meter. Now, this particular project, uh, it's included in many uh, other of our videos. Uh, in other words, the applications for this uh, project are uh, pretty much infinite. An infrared RPM uh, meter or a tachometer, uh, it's part of, a, of uh, many different circuits. For example, um, if you want to control the speed of a, of a water pump, uh, that's one possible application. Almost every um, automotive system uh, today has uh, some kind of a uh, fuel pump uh, uh, speed control uh, for the fuel pump. And it pretty much has to do with the uh, demand uh, of the engine. Uh, at a higher demand, for example, during acceleration, uh, you need more fuel. So the RPM or the revolution of the uh, fuel pump is going to increase. And this is all controlled by the ECM. So this particular circuit, it's part of, a, of what would be included uh, inside the ECM. Uh, of course, you can include this for anything that needs some kind of a of an RPM based uh, demand uh, circuitry. Now the heart of the system it's the it's an infrared uh, tr uh, transmitter receiver. Uh, now these little gadgets you can pretty much pick them up for next to nothing. This, this particular one it was $2.99 from Amazon. Uh, if you buy them in quantities uh, so, sometimes you need to uh, you need uh, you have a need for an infrared receiver that so you need to put one on each particular component. It could be anything. It could be uh, uh, an actuator in, 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 a, in a sprinkler system. It could be anything. So these things are very inexpensive. We're also going to use uh, a, um, an LCD uh, display. And we have a, one of our videos. It's called the simple uh, Arduino Simple Counter Timer, where we explain exactly what to do to uh, connect uh, this particular display. As you can see on screen, uh, this is the actual LCD that we're going to be using. These things are, again, they're very inexpensive. They're about $3 and change. Uh, if you buy, uh, you know, four or five of them, uh, they're, they're pretty much a dime a dozen. You know, anywhere you go, uh, you can pick this up for very, very, they're very cheap. For under $20, and we try to do all of our projects so that, um, for under twenty dollars, this one, this particular one, even under ten dollars, you can build the whole uh, project. We're also going to be using a ten k potentiometer, and this is this is for uh, a contrast adjustment. Uh, we, we explained that in the same video, the Arduino timer module that we've uh, that we've uh, mentioned before. Now, to process all the data, we're going to be using an Arduino. This is an Ardu Arduino Mega twenty five sixty. They are eh, around anywhere between nine to twelve dollars, fifteen dollars each. Very inexpensive. Even cheaper than that uh, would be the Arduino Nano. They, as you can see, they're very tiny. So that it's called the Arduino Nano. So these things are very powerful. The Arduino Nano is for something that doesn't something like this. The Mega is probably overkill, but the Arduino Nano is even cheaper. You can pick them up again for two or three dollars uh, if you buy four or five of them. Now the heart of the system again is the infrared. Um, uh, um, if, and the infrared sensor. It's a transmitter receiver module. The little potentiometer you see, the little pot that you see in uh, in green, that's uh, it's a little adjustment. You probably need to adjust that halfway. They're probably pre-adjusted already. Uh, you'll know if you go all the way up. It the, it, it makes the this thing very sensitive. And basically, one of these uh, LEDs is not an LED. It's an infrared LED, and the other one is an infrared receiver. It's a it's like a transistor. So it, it shoots a, an infrared a beam and it, it bounces back against an object and then it, the, other, uh, the other module, little uh, LED that looks like an LED, is a phototransistor, picks it up and it uh, detects it and it outputs a signal. There's a little processor in there that actually processes the entire, the, the entire signal. In our video, we're going to be using the chuck of a, um, of a, a cordless dr a drill. Uh, we also, what we did, we, uh, you, we put a white label uh, on one of the uh, of the slots here, as you can see on screen, and you're going to see it later on in the video. And this is the one that's actually going to reflect the infrared beam, and it's going to be bounced back immediately. And remember, this thing is pretty quick, and it's, that's what's going to detect uh, the RPM. Again, uh, a 
a very common use uh, application for this particular project would be motor control, where you need to control the speed of a, uh, of a motor. So the tachometer would feed the, the Arduino, the Arduino senses the RPM, and in the RPM, the Arduino then uh, controls or modulates the PWM or the pulse width modulation for the, for the motor, and that's how the speed gets controlled. Next, uh, we see a very simple um, diagram here, how to connect the unit. Uh, the unit has a power and a ground, a 5 volt ground. These are both provided by the Arduino. And it also, in this particular uh, sketch uh, for the Arduino, the sketch is a software that runs the whole, uh, the whole deal. We're using I.O., uh, the input-output uh, pin number 2. And that's where you're going to feed the signal uh, going into, into the Arduino. And of course, the, uh, the other modules, 7, 8, 9, and 10, uh, and I believe 4 and 5, they, those are the ones that run the LCD. Uh, again, we have another video, which is the uh, Arduino timer module, where we explain exactly how to connect uh, the LCD. Next, in these few video clips, you can, as you can see, we have the, uh, uh, you can see the white slot that we glued onto the, uh, uh, the cordless chuck, and how it, uh, the, the little um, infrared detector detects uh, the rotating chuck. It feeds it, it feeds the signal into the Arduino, and the Arduino is not going to do anything with it for for now. In this video, it's just going to output uh, uh, an RPM uh, value on the. Uh, on the LED, uh, I'm sorry, on the LCD screen. Another use of this particular module would be to control the speed of a of a lathe or maybe a milling machine. Anything that controls motor speed, this is a very useful um, uh, project. Uh, some of these, uh, some of our of, of our techs are actually building these things to uh, detect RPM uh, on specific uh, components in in a car. And all you have to do is just pretty much make a white mark and just point the, uh, uh, the tachometer into the white mark on, say, the uh, vibration, uh, the, the harmonic balancer, or it could be even on, a, on the belt. And it'll detect movement, it'll detect RPM. Sometimes you need to detect RPM on a compressor, for example. Uh, the new uh, compressors, the, uh, the um, variable displacement compressors uh, for the air conditioning for cars, uh, you could have an RPM on the pulley itself, but the output of the compressor is not what you would expect. So you need to detect RPM on the compressor and compare it to whatever pressure or, or PWN. The, these compressors are controlled by PWM. So uh, for any technician out there, they know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is a possible uh, application or use for, for, for this particular project. And next, as you can see, uh, this is the exactly what the L uh, um, LCD uh, display looks like uh, when we apply uh, the uh, infrared sensor into the chuck of a, of a drill. This is a simple uh, illustration or a simple uh, uh, demonstration of how the, the whole deal works. Uh, anything else, you'd have to um, pretty much apply this particular circuit into the whatever it is that you want to control and we're going to explain that in, in other videos how to control a motor how to control you could do anything you want even uh, for example uh, there are times when you need to uh, uh, monitor the speed of a particular component and then turn something on this is this is it this is exactly what you would have to do you would have to use this particular circuit and then on top of that pre-program into the arduino itself all the necessary um, add-ons so that you can actually turn whatever it is, a, a relay card or this or that, a, a transistor, so that you can turn the component on and off. Now at the end of our, of our video, you are going to see the sketch. Uh, it, if you need a sketch, if you, if you, you pretty much copy it off of here. We don't have a, a provision for us to copy sketches on the, on the video itself, in other words, on the description of the video. Uh, so send us an email uh, or whatever you need to do. Uh, you can always copy uh, the sketch from here and uh, again send us an email if you need any any uh, diagram from, from this particular video let us know make sure you remember the title of the video again uh, we thank you uh, each and every time for you guys watching our video here on our YouTube channel ADP training uh, so you know pretty much thank you so much uh, for watching our video and uh, see you next time this channel is for do-it-yourselfers as well as professional auto repair technicians 
we present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's, Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle e-book, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.